Thank you for entering this interesting, spooky review. Oh, it's going to be a terrifying one. Those of you are afraid of alligators that will swim right at you. Who are you on the boat? This movie will not be for you. Those of you who love alligators, oh, oh, you're in for a treat. Yep, this movie's plainly called Alligator. I remember watching this a few times in a row. Oh, I actually like this movie a lot. To make this review not too long, on the young little girl keeps an alligator, and the father realizes they keep him a bad. Maybe alligator is a bad idea, and he flushes down the sewer. And like any movie, cliches have toxic waste, or like any films, um, it starts to grow. Oh, and grew. Oh, it gets huger and eats on random suspects. There's even this guy that captures animals and sets them um, to a pet shop. And they find the criminal with the explosion, try to rob them blind, but set up the bomb just in time. This one's a good old classic horror film with them finding the alligator that's huge. Which they have to stop it before it's too late when it eats the entire their neighborhood of other people. When I first watched this, it was truly scary. Ooh, that used like great special effects on the alligator. A giant puppet size one. Because this one came out in 1980. You got no comment on that. You know that's gonna be happening. I pulled out the files on the Baldwin Hotel shooting. Hey, Ken, lay off. I'll lay off. I like the main characters when they get focused. I like how the acting in this film is well done. And they're taking their situations pretty well. We done. I mean, they're trying to do their best to find a way to stop this oversized monster. Here. You feel the moment in this film that you want them to survive without being eaten alive by, by the oversized Rockadon. That's what it's called on Wikipedia. And you feel the intent, you feel the emotionalness, and so you want these characters to survive. If their tragedy of madness, it is truly scary. To not spoil too much throughout this entire review of make it a bit shorter. Or they try to make it so serious with a bunch of cops, a bunch of exterminators trying to stop an oversized creature from taking over the town. I even love how it takes their time to show the oversized alligator. And once we finally get to it in less than 40 minutes, and you see the great special effects on this giant alligator in the poor cop up in and alive turn it apart turn him apart piece by piece you know the editing they keep on moving the camera it's like to the alligator's movements and guy ripping apart is stupendously great Wild animal, not a 
I mean, they tried to shoot at it, they tried to uh, blow it up, which they do at the very end of the film, which I will not spoil too much. Most people that reviewed this movie before find it of an interesting horror freak film. Um, that people will be terrified to go into the sewers. Especially our main characters, which I basically forgot their names now. Because I barely know who these characters are. And the effects on somebody's dead bodies look perfectly realistic. So I'll give this film um, proper credits. It shows a bit of blood I mean gore in it. And yes, they even had the B word. Or to kill a kid on there. Go inside a swimming pool. And like any classic 80s. Having guys hanging out, smoking and cigarettes, and up in the alleyway drinking, and getting attacked by the giant monster. So overall, Alligator's a worth performed film of all time. And not to mention it actually has a sequel. And I like how this guy is watching a old movie from the old times. Probably from Land of the Lost films. Which I'll get to another time. So, to not spoil too much throughout the entire film. Um, which I showed you a little bit of it. It's pretty much worth your time watching. And since I like watching scary, terrifying films, this will be pretty much your worthy of good time out there. So I give Alligator, or for being like a movie for like an hour and 27 minutes, a solid 6 out of 10. And even though the giant alligator monster doesn't get that much screen time, but the effects on him are perfectly well done, mites. If you love alligators, this will be pretty much a worth your time. To end it off, I'll show you a little bit of the last clip of the scene. And when it crushes into a wedding scene. And I gotta admit, it's awesome. Really creepy and scary. I'll see you guys in the next review of me talking about other scary animal movies or other monster films in the near future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody. It'll be worth your time. See ya.